DEBATE yeah. OVER uh, PARENTS' RIGHTS AND EDUCATION IS HEATING UP BIG TIME FOR WHAT HAS BECOME A DEFINING ISSUE OF THE 2024 ELECTION. THE CALIFORNIA STATE SENATE TODAY DISCUSSING AN AMENDMENT TO A BILL THAT WOULD MAKE PARENTS GUILTY OF CHILD ABUSE IF THEY DON'T AFFIRM THEIR CHILD'S GENDER IDENTITY. CRITICS SAY IT WOULD LEAD TO CHILDREN BEING TAKEN AWAY FROM A PARENT IN A CUSTODY DISPUTE. THE BILL'S AUTHOR DESCRIBING IT THIS WAY. If you have a seven-year-old who's, who's talking about they believe that they are not the same gender um, as they are biologically, then it should be affirmed. By saying and rejecting it in wholesale, then you're essentially rejecting your child. Now, critics say there's not a one-size-fits-all when it comes to all of this. Uh, let's listen. My concern is that as a policy, we're stating that it's always in their best interest, regardless of what the situation is. Um, and, and that's what I'm struggling with, that they're, a seven-year-old may not know exactly what, what they're dealing with. In Ohio, lawmakers are considering a bill that would require public schools to notify parents before teaching sexuality content and allow them to opt out of that content. We're going to talk about Ohio. We're going to talk about California. Julia Manchester, national political reporter from The Hill with me right now. Julia, the author of this bill, the woman we just heard, uh, she has a transgender child, so she has a vested interest in this. Uh, the co-sponsor of, of the bill, Scott Weiner, also a Democrat, very polarizing. Would voters have any say in this? Uh, look, I mean, I think those legislators who are drafting that bill would say that voters have uh, say because they were elected by these voters and, you know, they would say they're listening to their constituents and such. However, I think moving into 2024, we are seeing that this is becoming a defining issue, really, particularly in the Republican presidential primary and a number of Republican primaries down ballot. They are talking about this broader issue of what they say is parents' rights and how it impacts um, children when it comes to education or when it comes um, to this issue of transitioning if they are transgender. So you're going to hear that debate more on the Republican side. Democrats, though, are very much on the other side of this issue. So it's becoming extremely polarizing. I think it's interesting to see that you have these two different state laws in California and Ohio, one with a Republican-led state legislature, the other with a Democratic state legislature. So we're seeing this issue really fall along party lines. Wouldn't this kind of a bill, the one in California, presume or assume that every child who questions their sexuality could be endangered and threatened by their parents? How can this be codified? Uh, look, I mean, I'm, you know, particularly not an expert in this area, but in terms of the political ramifications of it, look, I mean, if it's codified, uh, that means that the, you know, the state legislature will, you know, vote it in the law and then uh, Governor Gavin Newsom will sign it into law. We know that California is a major majority Democratic uh, state, but I'm curious to see whether there might be some pushback on this among voters. We know that sometimes some of these issues do transcend party lines and impact, you know, moderates or Democrats as well, vice versa. So we don't see everyone fitting into these uh, complete boxes. Um, but look, it's, it's going to be a polarizing issue. And I think we're going to see how these issues really, how voters feel about these issues more clearly in the 2024 election when you see uh, these candidates elected up and down the ballot. Let's talk about some of the poll numbers we find, because whether Democrat or Republican, most voters in California a disagree that a person loses their parental rights when a child enters public school. 82% disagree with that statement. A majority support a law notifying parents of any changes to their child's gender identity, but we've actually seen school districts where that information is kept away from the parents. The Ohio State House bill we mentioned actually does that. It reveals to the parents what their child is saying they want to be or who they identify with. Do you think that in terms of the 2024 election uh, and the race, Will the candidate who assures voters that they will examine what school board's rights are and what parents' rights are and be very clear about that perform the best in this race? You know, look, I think it all depends on the issue framing. I remember a few years ago, Adrian, I was covering the Virginia gubernatorial election. And during a very uh, central debate in that election, the de then Democrat and former Governor Terry McAuliffe was asked, do you think school uh, parents should have control or have a say in what their kids learn in school? And in that moment, he essentially said no. And that opened the door for now Governor Glenn Youngkin to attack him on this issue. So the way those two candidates framed that issue 
and you know it hurt Terry McAuliffe it helped Glenn Duncan so it all depends on the messaging I think we'll see that in 2024 as well thank you for watching go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage